And we're going to go a bit of a rant here. So get some earphones. We're going to drop some F-bombs. All right, get your earphones. Let's talk about it. Life is so short. This is your advice. I wish someone told me when I was 18. I got some <clears throat> variations of this advice, but no one was really fucking straight up like, Harley, this is how it fucking is, bruh. Because not many people in the world, I look at my lifestyle and I look at other people's lifestyles, all right? And I'm just thinking, how the fuck did I get so lucky? How Seriously, how did I get so lucky? Okay? And that sounds super arrogant, and it is, but that's the, that's my reality every single day. I don't, I don't know anyone out there who has a greater participation of their daily reality. Now, I've had the fortune of traveling the world with my bicycle. The vegan lifestyle, the cycling lifestyle has just taken me on magical adventures, if you know, you know. So I've gotten to meet people from all walks of life. I personally know people who have hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. They got lucky, they worked hard, timing patterns, boom. Like hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. Private jets, like riches upon riches, okay. And I have mutual friends as well of them, you know. The world's a small place. And what do these people have in common? They're fucking miserable, man. And I don't say this as like a diss or like sucked in or whatever. No, no, no. Just as a reality check, all right? Freedom is greater than money. When you have big cash, like fuck off cash, you have mad responsibility. People want to take you down. People want to make shit up about you to cash in. People want to use you excessively. It's just, it isn't what it's cooked up to be, all right? People are, I just want a couple of million dollars, Holly. <laughs> I'm willing to sell myself a couple of mil. It still won't make you fucking happy, man. These people out there, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, private jets, houses upon houses upon houses, and they're fucking miserable. Their kids are fucking miserable. Their partners are fucking miserable. And yes, they have a fucking flex lifestyle on Instagram, okay? No doubt about it. But once the camera's off, the phone's down, laying in bed, looking up the ceiling, coming out from the coke high, fucking miserable, okay? So... The question is, why are these people so miserable who have all the riches and the cash and the bitches and the stitches and everything, man? Why are they still so miserable that they're depressed and they need more and more material shit to feel some sort of dopamine hit? Because they don't have life purpose, all right? They got their riches mostly from fear of not having enough or not being enough and caring excessively what other people thought. So I would say it comes from a dark place and that drives them to work hard, to step on people, to whatever, just to look for breaks and stuff like that. Now, not everyone with mad money fuck people over, but generally people with mad money, someone someone lost there, right? Someone lost. They sold a, a bullshit program or a bullshit product or they preyed on people's weaknesses and told them good things about their bad habits and they cashed in on that. And so... The money you make from that, you just are fucking miserable. I mean, look at all the, the cartel people. Fucking miserable, man, all right? People can snitch you any moment. The government wants you. The, 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 the other cartels want you. It's just, you know, it's just... just So why am I talking... Harley, why are you even fucking talking about this? I, I'm not going to be a cartel owner. I'm not going to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. What are you on about? I'm giving you the extreme end of the spectrum to let you know that all the, the cash ain't worth it, man. Everything I do every single day is I want to do. I want to ride my bike. I could go out today and buy a Ferrari. And sometimes I think about it for a fleeting moment. And then I, I ride past some bro stuck in a Ferrari or a McLaren or a Porsche in traffic. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> and I'm just, cr those cars don't, a car, a car in general doesn't suit my personality. And then you go drop off the mechanic and then the mechanic's like, hey, how's it going, mate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as soon as you leave, they're like, you fucking douchebag. You know, and they're sitting on the car rubbing their ball sack on your fucking gear knob and shit. You know, <laughs> if you know, you know, man. Uh, the people I've met in my life, it's been amazing the stories I get to hear. So, you know, it's just it's just how it is, man, you know. So, that's my reality. I have a great, the greatest particip participation in my day of reality, man. My transport, I'm riding the bike around. It's so fucking simple and easy. 
Red light, no worries. Go up in the gutter, cut around. All good. Cops pull me up. What's going on, mate? All good. No fines. Yeah, keep going, bro. Oh, someone's trying to chase you. No worries. Keep going, mate. You know? Cool story. Yeah, sure. I don't believe you, but anyway, go on. You know, just all that, man. That freedom. The transport freedom. The the nutrition freedom. People out there counting their calories. Oh, my God. How many calories are I eating today? I don't know. They're not. No one fucking knows, man. How much do you digest? How much do you burn? How much is in the food? No one knows, man. No one knows. How many calories a day you actually need to the tenth of the gram or whatever? You know, like, no one knows, man. So why are you tracking something so, just so boring and pointless? No animal in nature tracks its calories. Or no an animal in nature listens to a podcast. No, no animal in nature is getting bullshitted to like humans are. All right? We just bullshit each other so much to take advantage of each other. It's fucking crazy. In the name of money, status, and power. It's crazy. Anyway, so my nutrition is freedom. Sugar, rice, carbohydrate, all the foods they tell you that are bad for you. And let you, yet, you know the leanest, healthiest, happiest, most grateful people on the planet live the most simple lifestyles and they eat a high carb, low fat diet. Is it always vegan? No. But mostly vegan, yes. All right, the carbs are the key. The less animal products you eat, the healthier you're going to be compared to your twin brother or sister who eats the most animal products. That's fact, you know it. All right, look around the supermarket. How many people could sprint around the supermarket as fast as I could? Exactly. It's crazy, man. You know, it's like, so nutrition freedom, transport freedom, lifestyle freedom, living freedom. I can, I've been homeless. I own multiple properties, all right? I've, the, the, some of the biggest, best sleeps I've ever had have been sleeping on the leaf foliage, riding my bike all day in the sunshine and rain, and then camping, pulling up and sleeping, rolling out my little foam mats I got for five bucks in the thrift store, chucking my sleeping bag down, jumping my Gore-Tex bivy and just boosh, laying on that soft nature leaf litter. And then hearing all the roaches and scorpions and centipedes and snakes and bugs and kangaroos crawling and hopping and dancing around all night. Fucking awesome. But most people that gives them a full anxiety and panic attack. You know, the inability to spend an entire day in a dark room by ourselves is one of the biggest causes of our mental problems. Not being able to be alone in a dark room by ourselves. If you can't do that, you need to do that. No one has a deficiency in Prozac, etc. Okay? So let's get back to the life, the sleeping freedom, the combination freedom. Being able to sleep outdoors with Mother Nature, that's a power right there. So once you have that, like, I don't care, I don't fear being homeless. I can go camp out and be totally fine with that, okay? Totally fine with that. Would Natasha be fine with that? Yeah. Well, I could just get marry a kangaroo. <laughs> you know, like, they're vegan as well. But, you know, I'm just saying, man. So, yeah, that, that nutrition freedom, that transport freedom, that accommodation freedom, when you have those three things dialed in, you become a free motherfucker in the highest sense of the word. And then there's the social freedom, the social narrative freedom, where you're not afraid to say, you know what, social narrative... I don't really care that much what you think. I care one out of ten. It's good to care one out of ten. Zero out of ten, you walk around naked, get locked up in a mental asylum. Great, get jabbed full of lithium and gain 70 kilos. You don't want that. Care, I care one out of ten what people think. You know, people can say whatever they say. Well, Drew Knight is a con man. He's a rapist. He's a pedo. He's the worst ever. He's, a, he's the baddest man on the planet. He's a badass. He's a narcissist. He's a bad boy. He's a porn star with a big dick. Well, that bit's true. But, you know, whatever people want to say to try and get some hate or reaction... I got one out of ten reaction these days. Five years ago, eight years ago, my reaction was a lot stronger. And I apologize to anyone out there who I was, was on the recipient end for that. But these days, 2024, one out of ten reaction. So having that freedom from social narratives. I don't care what people think if I'm rummaging through bins to pull out some some stuff to sell. Or I don't care what people think when I walk out with ten thousand dollars I've just spent at the Nike outlet. On shoes to flip. I don't care if people think that, oh, your, your, your girlfriend looks like your daughter. Or YouTube's not a real job. You're, you're, you're an author? You, you didn't got an English major? Not a, I don't care. Well, I do care, but it's one out of ten. All right, so having that freedom from social narratives. What do my parents think of what I'm doing? I don't care. It's a one out of ten. I'm doing what I want to do. What the planet needs of me. And then I won't hate my parents because I lived my life on my terms, not their life on their terms. Doesn't mean I'm going to be a douchebag and tell them to F off. No, I'm not. I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to move out and do my thing, okay? And that's why I have a good relationship. 
I don't have resentment towards my parents. All right, my dad who's passed away back in 09. No, zero resentment because I do what I want to do. No resentment to my mum because I do what I want to do. Okay, so don't do what your parents want you to do. Okay, if you want to ride a bike, if you want to camp out, if you want to be a YouTuber or a doctor or a lawyer or whatever, do what you want to do. Do what you think the planet needs of you. All right. And you have the best quality of life, man, because you won't get caught up in these social narratives. You have one out of 10 care factor and you'll need less money, but you'll make the most money. You'll save the most money because you know what? Although all the doctors and lawyers and stuff and the people I know in that sort of area, 99% of them absolutely fucking hate their job. They're not passionate about it. It's just a clock watching, money making, grabbing thing. And they're excessively materialistic because they're like, well, what else did they do in life other than go and schmancy ho hotel holidays and do some coke and all that stuff, you know, and get my Audi service. It's just, you know what I mean? And I feel sad for these people. I just, and I, I know their kids, all right? I know their kids, some of them very, very well. And the kids have eating disorders and drug problems and self-esteem issues. And like, well, I can't live up to my parents' expectations. They want me to go to uni, but I don't want to do that. And all this pressure, pressure, pressure. And some kids' suicide is terrible. It's absolute tragedy. And then the parents do even more alcohol and red wine. It's just insane. It's just this big fucking shit show. Stop doing that, okay? If you don't want to be at uni, pull out of uni, man. All right? Stop doing anything you don't want to do. I enjoy everything. Like, you see me out there from going through bins, picking up a can, or helping a, a, a pigeon or a bird with a string on its foot, or fucking doing OnlyFans content, getting my fucking, you know, getting deep throat from Natasha. Like, like, everything you see me doing, you see me riding my bike around, I'm enjoying it. Everything, every single day, I'm enjoying. Cleaning the dishes, cleaning the toilet, everything I do, I enjoy doing it. Because I understand it matches my goals. And to have the best quality of life, you want to make sure your behavior matches your goals. All right? I don't want to be a fat cunt, so I don't eat KFC. I don't want to contribute to... The, the destruction of the forest so you don't see me out there you know eating fucking Big Macs or buying them or whatever you know just to, to promote it or promote that shit whatever you know what I mean like align your goals with your behavior okay if your goal is to make money then what the fuck are you doing sleeping in alright if your goal is to have a great quality of life where you care less what people think then why are you trying to get in a high stress job that makes a lot of cash so you can buy stuff to impress your dad, your parents or whoever, or your dad or your mum or, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. Just, it's good to have that poise every day and go, what's my goal today? Why? And what behavior is going to help me with that goal? If your goal is to have a good quality relationship with your parents or your kids or whatever, especially your kids, because we can't choose our parents, all right? A lot of them, our parents are fucked up or alcoholics or fucking damaged goods or whatever. You can't choose your parents. You can only choose how to react to them. Let's talk about their kids. The way maybe you got kids is like, do, you, do your kids need, does your kid need another fucking iPhone? The kid doesn't even need a fucking phone. They're just going to get cyber bullied and learn bullshit on TikTok. Reality, that's facts. Your kids need more your time. Oh, I don't really want to spend time with my kids. My kids are brats. They're probably brats, most likely brats, because you don't spend enough time with them. Okay? Because you're undercarved. But if you're watching my shit, you're not undercarved. Especially if you're watching this, this far into the, into the video, the podcast. What I'm saying, though, is life is so fucking short. Okay? Life's too short to suffer. Your brain isn't here to make you happy. Anxiety is normal. Okay? Anxiety is to go, fuck, is this, is this, is this cliff face going to crumble down? Is this tree going to snap? Is this big cat walking towards me a friend? Or is it going to bite my neck off? You know? Anxiety is here to keep you alive. Stop trying to suppress it with drugs, okay? If you have excess anxiety, it means you have excess cortisol, which means you are consuming caffeine and stimulants and sugar-free shit, okay? All stimulants raise cortisol. If you if you find you, you have not enough anxiety, you've got nothing to worry about, then have some caffeine and that'll give you anxiety. Caffeine raises your cortisol. If you find yourself just in like me in, in La La Land sometimes where you're like, Wow, the world's just so bright and rainbow-like. I, I, I just want to sit here and do nothing. Then have some caffeine to give you some cortisol. So you go, fuck, I need to get something done. You know, help the world, help the planet. But otherwise, if you have excess anxiety, stop caffeine. Stop the Ritalin. Stop the methylphenidate. Stop the modafinil, etc. Stop all stimulants. Stimulants raise caffeine, uh, cortisol. 
Sugar lowers cortisol in seconds, man. All right, if you're feeling excessively stressed, dump some sugar in there. By sugar, I mean fruit. I mean table sugar with water. I mean cordial. I don't mean donuts and Snickers bars, which are full of fat and hormones, unless you're underweight. But even then, you know, fruit with sugar, sugar water, juice, rice with sugar, these things are going to digest a fucking treat, and they're packed with nutrition, and they're going to make you feel so much fucking better. You have fruit, some fresh ripe fruit for breakfast, and sprinkle on some table sugar on top of that, and you eat that after drinking like half a liter of water, you are going to feel fucking like you're detoxing shit from 1987. You're going to feel so much more light and alive after that. And it's going to digest so fucking quick. The sugar's just going to go, just get sucked into your cells and provide that nourishment you need and that energy. And before you know it, you're like, I'm, I'm hungry again. Because sugar burns so fucking quick, okay? But fat and protein, they just sit and stick to our ribs. The people that eat the most fat and protein are the sickest and the fattest and the heaviest and the slowest and the most inflamed. Amino acids, okay? Amino acids is protein. Fatty acids is fats. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. The fat you don't eat is the fat you don't wear. Carbs fuel every cell in the body, okay? The sucrose molecule is the same no matter the source. The carbon isotope ratio of sucrose is always the same. It doesn't change if it's from a carrot, a mango, cane sugar, or a freaking Twinkie bar. The Twinkie bar comes with all sorts of crap with it, okay? The cane doesn't, and the fruit doesn't, okay? So having that nutritional freedom, that social freedom, the lifestyle freedom, okay? That's what I wish someone told me back in the day. And also, I wish someone said, dude, experiment with some drugs but just get off them quick all right do a week or two weeks and then go finish that all right because those drugs especially when you're a teenager it just slows things down man it just slows things down too much and as a kid you, you got enough imagination and creativity anyway okay when you're in your 40s you can probably experiment with stuff because you're a bit more experienced and level-headed and you know yourself more but when you're a kid just get into fitness man get into fitness get into fucking riding man Fuck off the cars and just ride like a motherfucker. Ride everywhere. Rain, hail, or shine, you're on your fucking bike. If it's snow, just go slow, okay? Otherwise, you're on your fucking bike, getting it done, okay? Well, it's dangerous to ride a bike in my town. That's what they say here in Adelaide. And Adelaide is probably the best city in the world to live as a cyclist, or one of the best. And you ask 99% of the population here, I could get a million testimonies Adelaide is bad for cycling. I could literally get a million testimonies. I mean, hypothetically, I could. I don't know if I should put that much time in. You know what I mean? That's, that's the narrative out there. They don't want you riding a bike. They don't want you carving up. They don't want you sober. All right? They want you fat, sick, slow, medicated, depressed, limp dicked, blah, 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 blah. All right? Caring what people think excessively. Right? Dial it down to one out of ten of that social narrative, that social disapproval. One out of ten. Who gives a fuck? Let's go. Okay? One out of ten. Not zero out of ten. In the psych ward, gaining 70 kilos from SSRIs, one out of ten. Okay? Where you care enough to be fully clothed and not take a dump on the sidewalk in public. Anyway. But not you do that because you want to dump under the trees. You know, this life's just so short, man. It's thinking of people out there, they, they, they can't spend a day in a dark room they can't sleep out on the bare earth at night time in a sleeping bag and bivy a little foam mat or cardboard box. You know what I mean? Like, the, the fucking crackheads do that, man. Crackheads are up at 5 a.m. out there getting it done. What are we doing, okay? Every time I'm laying out in bed in the morning, I'm like, there's a crackhead out there already that's been awake working their, their hustle for two hours. Like, what am I doing? I'm getting out there. I'm answering the emails. I love what I do. Every t- I don't need an alarm clock to get up. I'm out there. Because everything I do in my life, every single thing I do, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And that's what I recommend people do. That's, that's, that's for me, that's quality of life. Every person in your life, everything you do, you're learning from, you're enjoying. That's going to take some changes for some people. But for me, fuck man, that's, yeah, life's too short to live anything else. Every single moment of the day, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. And for me, friends and foes, actually, there's no foes. It's all friends. Haters are friends. Haters are your best friends. You know, everyone out there listening, it's, 
if you listen this long, you're not a hater. You know, Oh, man. Even even my haters take my advice, man. You see him riding bikes. You see him riding in Chiang Mai. You see him in Adelaide. Or you see him carbon the fuck up. They're ditching their low-carb shit. Now eating carbs again. And they're like, yeah, Duran Rhodes a fuck with But I'm doing this because he's right. I don't care that I'm right. It's just, it is right, okay? Right's right. It's always the best time to do the best things in your life. Life's just so short. How many people do you know who are just taken so quickly? Car accident, driving along. Boom, drink driver just fucking T-bones them. They're in a, and they, they're like, shit, they try to get out of the car and the car just bursts in flames. They're done, okay? Done. So if you're a teenager worrying what people think, oh my God, in high school I got bullied and they called me fat, they called me skinny, they said I'm on steroids, I could have got a horse face, they said my dick's too small, it's too big, I'm too short, I'm too tall. Whatever, who cares? It's just high school shit. Let it go. Trust me, when you're my age, you'll look back at high school and you'll be fucking laugh. You'll be like, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. It's just teenage shit, man. Let's roll over it. One out of ten care factor. Yeah, life's so short, man. You get you get you have a you could have a brain brain clot tonight, you're dead in your sleep, don't even know. Boom. Aneurysm. Pop. Done. Okay? Anyone can have a stroke. Doesn't matter how healthy you are. It's just just fucking genetics, man. Just that fucking aneurysm just sitting there all that time, you know? Maybe you fell over in the bathtub once, got an aneurysm, and then pop, it's done, you're dead. You're finished. All that stressing about bullshit. For what? You're dead now. You don't even know it, okay? You get you feel a lump on your leg, boom, stage four cancer spread everywhere on your body. It's in your brain now. Doctor says you got two weeks to live. Good luck. Have a nice day. Next. Alright? Why are you living with grudges and spite and bitterness? Oh my dad did this to me. My mom did this to me. My ex girlfriend did this. My ex girlfriend did this. This blah 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 blah. Fuck it, man. One out of ten care factor, okay? One out of ten care factor to have that emotional freedom. There's nobody in my life I couldn't talk to in a civil manner. There's nobody in my life. And I've I've had things wrong in my life. It's not a competition of who got it worse or whatever. It's a competition of who can get over their shit. Build a bridge. Be able to have a civil conversation with people you wish never existed or whatever. When you get that level, that is now emotional freedom. So we have... Nutritional freedom, sleeping accommodation freedom, transport freedom, social disapproval freedom, and then emotional freedom. Being able to talk civilly in a dialogue with absolutely anyone in our life, no matter what happened. That is emotional freedom. And if you comp- wrap up all those things, fuck man, now you're living versus just existing Yes, yes, forgot to say, the default setting you want to have in your life, to have the best quality of life every day. Many people out there have a default setting of spite, of bitterness, of revenge, of I'll fucking show them. And there's benefits in that at certain times and blah, blah, blah. But the best, the ultimate, the king hit, the queen, the GOT, G-O-A-T, the GOAT of default settings you should have to have the best quality of life is gratitude. All right, Nothing rivals gratitude. If you want to have the best quality of life, have gratitude. People look in the mirror and say, I'm fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too big, I'm blah, 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 I'm, I'm bald, all my hair's too look scruffy, like I've got my hair's too long, I look like a, a bum, like whatever. You know, like, it's so fucking funny, isn't it? Um, gratitude, man. Gratitude. All right, you want to have gratitude. If you want to have the best quality of life, all right, gratitude. I didn't know what the fuck gratitude was to, for a long part of my life, all right? You, your parents say, just be grateful. You're like, yeah, shut up. In your head, you're like, yeah, shut up. But seriously, they were right. But as a kid, you don't understand that, all right? So as 18, I didn't really understand gratitude either. But do a deep dive on gratitude. Ask, ask myself all the time, what am I grateful for? Whenever, whenever I find myself spiraling out of like, my behavioral goals, my, my goals for behavior. I'm like, dude, dude whoa, whoa, what are you grateful for right now? Oh, yeah, well, I'm alive. Okay, I got this, I got that. Yep, two arms, two legs. I can, I can, I can fucking see, man. All right, or I can fucking hear, okay? There's people out there who can't even see or can't even hear or even both. Imagine that. Can't see, can't hear. Fuck, that's, that's the tough life, man. Then you got something to complain about, okay? So... 
But then you people, oh, but, but, but that means I'm, people are just going to run over me because I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful I got robbed. They robbed me and they didn't kill me. Yeah, we're grateful for that. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not about being a doormat, all right? But it's about having context, okay? You know what I'm talking about, all right? You know what I'm talking about. So, you know, oh, I'm just happy and grateful. I won't be driven to do anything. And that's wrong. You'll be so driven, in fact, to make the world a better place. So I'm driven every day, all right? I've got so many things to do. And what drives me is gratitude and happiness. It's not caffeine, it's not drugs or whatever, or steroids, all these things. And I've used so many things in my life. And that's what I can speak with conviction and experience. Nothing rivals gratitude, man. Gratitude. Asking yourself, what am I grateful for right now? That just shifts your state. You know, I used to use drugs to change my state. It wasn't feel good, take drugs. And then I was like, hang on, that's, that's dumb because I come down, I feel shit, and I'm starting to look like a crackhead. I still look like crack eggs. I'm so lean. So ask me the question. What are you grateful for? Okay, I can see. I can hear. Okay, I can taste. All right. I've got $2 to my name. I can buy a, be- a loaf of bread. I can go to the bin and get a loaf of bread. And I get a jar of jam. I can eat. I have access to clean drinking water. Yeah, it's full of fluoride and forever chemicals. But I've got access to water. I'm not going to die that day from dehydration. You know what I mean? They're having that gratitude. And then it just starts to snowball from there. And then people sniff that on you. And better quality people want to go, yeah, I want to hang around you, all right? And it just grows from that, man. What are you grateful for? And then you learn about happiness. And happiness is only experienced in the present moment, right? Oh, when I get that, when I lose 20 kilos, then I'll be, then I can be happy. That's bullshit. Look how many hot babes out there and hot bros are fucking miserable. They're starving themselves. They're doing drugs and liposuction and all this stuff. And they look the part on Instagram for what? People tell me such what you look like and the filters and the Photoshop and the, the body apps and stuff. But they're fucking miserable. All right? So don't say, well, when I, when I look like this or when I got this, then I'll be happy. No, because people have that. They're not fucking happy. Well, that's not them. I'm me. I'll be happy. No, you won't. You'll find something else to fucking nitpick with, won't you? You will. So just choose to be happy now and let your happiness drive you to make better choices in life. That's what I do. That's what I recommend. All right? That's the last bit. See you next video. Be grateful. Understand that happiness is only experienced in the present moment. And happiness is best shared. And why do I have a picture of uh, Alan Keys in this video? <laughs> I love these tools. These are Bond House nine-piece metric bowl end. Some people say my bell end, but uh, these are great, man. I put these in my hand, and I'm just like, man, give me, give me, some, give me a rim brake road bike to work on. I just want to work when I have these tools in my hand. And that's what life's about, man, having tools, okay? Having the right tools in your brain, your toolkit, your number one toolkit is your fucking brain, all right? Don't be out there sniffing glue or taking medications that block certain functions in your body, all right? Do my nutrition protocols, do my lifestyle protocols, training protocols. You'll have the peak human experience, I don't know anyone else out there who's giving better overall total lifestyle advice. Not even Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins is a legend. Not even Gary Vee. And Gary Vee's a legend. All right. I'm obsessed about having the best quality of life. And that is why I share these tips. Because I want other people to enjoy it as too. Because I walk around, I'm just thinking, fuck, my life's so good. I want to make other people's lives even better.